I've tried so many vegan bowls since becoming a vegan almost 15 years ago. I've had really bland bowls, really disgusting bowls, and some really great bowls. And I think the thing that it comes down to is the sauce. My big mistake when I first started making my own bowls was that they were super boring. So all three of these bowls are gonna be really exciting, flavorful, full of accessible ingredients, and they're complete whole food plant-based meals in a single dish with extra yummy sauce. Let's get into it. Roasted veggies are always a really good thing to put in a bowl. They really add a lot of flavor, and I'm gonna do some spices that kind of give it a Moroccan feel. Feel free to get creative with whatever kind of potato you want to use. And now I'm using cauliflower, and then I'm using a little bit of red onion. Roasted, this has the most amazing flavor. I'm gonna use some garlic powder, curry powder, cumin, a little bit of salt, and some pepper. And the way to roast things without oil is to just put a little bit of water here, and I'm just gonna mix this together with my hands. I love roasting chickpeas. Adding chickpeas into this really up levels the taste. A roasted chickpea is such like a decadent, easy, whole food, plant-based um, thing to add into your meal. It gives a nice crunch to your bowl. Everything onto a parchment paper, spreading it evenly. I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes until everything is crispy. I'm using a tablespoon of tahini, a teaspoon of maple syrup, possibly the juice of one lime, maybe half a lime. I'm gonna taste and see what I think works well here. And then a little bit of water to thin, maybe like a tablespoon or two. And I'm gonna take a whisk and I'm just going to whisk this together. You'll know that it's kind of to perfection when the dressing becomes not lumpy and also it changes color from a darker tahini color to more of a light white color. If you're trying to be conscious of how much fat you're consuming, you can really thin this down with more water and lemon juice and you still get a lot of flavor, um, but the sauce will last you through the whole bowl. Mm. Perfect, so that will be our dressing. I'm using arugula and then I'm just topping it with the roasted veggies, a little bit of fresh parsley, some microgreens, a little bit of avocado, and then drizzling my dressing. Up next, let's make a California bowl. The star of this next bowl is tempeh. I'm going to cube up this eight ounce tempeh block using a little bit of maple syrup, soy sauce or tamari or coconut aminos, whatever floats your boat and some rice vinegar. And I'm gonna use a little bit of sriracha. This is optional, but it gives it a nice little kick. And then some freshly cracked pepper. Then with a spoon or your hands, just mix it so it's nice and coated. See this? Keep it because it's gonna be really flavorful for your bowl later. Just hold on to it. This dressing is so good. I'm using half a cup of hummus, either store-bought or homemade, Dijon mustard, and the juice of half of a lemon. And then just whisk it together and you can add water to thin it out. This is one of my favorite hacks because I'm one of the people who can eat the entire tub of hummus in one sitting. So this saves me on a little bit of calories and it also thins it out so it's more of like a dressing, hence hummus dressing. And add a little bit of water to thin this. So good like hummus, but thinned out, a touch of mustard, and it's gonna last your whole bowl and you're not gonna eat the entire tub of hummus in one go. I'm going with romaine lettuce, quinoa, my tempeh, red cabbage, carrots, and beets. A little bit of lemon slice on the side, so good. On to bowl three, my miso bowl. Every bowl, if you notice, has kind of a star player. And so the star player of this last bowl is mushrooms. And when you're making your own balanced bowl recipes, always have that in mind. There needs to be a star player or a featured ingredient. I'm gonna slice these kind of big because they'll shrink down. In a small frying pan, I'm sauteing my mushrooms with just a little bit of vegetable broth, salt, and pepper. For the dressing, I'm using coconut milk, rice vinegar, maple syrup, soy sauce, a little bit of ginger, miso paste, garlic, a little bit of water, and then I'm just blending to combine. Starting with brown rice, Swiss chard, carrots, red cabbage, edamame, my sauteed mushrooms, a little bit of avocado and green onion. So delish, and this dressing is superb. I'm really excited about all of these. So this is the first bowl. This is the most simple bowl, but I feel like sometimes simple is just the absolute best. Mm. Oh yeah. This bowl is great because it was so easy to just throw everything on a sheet pan. Totally recommend using the arugula. It really gives it that extra flavorful oomph. On to bowl two with my hummus dressing, quinoa, tempeh, and I've even put a little bit of raw beet in there, which I love. Mm. Straight out of a California cuisine restaurant. Really fresh and hearty at the same time. 
so good. Mm, and the final bowl, I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. Mm. That dressing, you guys, is very, very good. I think I just realized why I love eating bowls so much. It's like you're going to a buffet or a salad bar at a really nice restaurant and you get a flavor of everything. Every single bowl is bursting with flavor. And fun fact, I had to stop filming to help my kids get ready for their naps and all of these are cold and they still taste amazing. I would take any one of these as a cold lunch and eat them that way. All three of these will be linked down in the description and if you want even more bowls, check out this video right up here. I've got three completely different bowls that are super satisfying for vegans and non-vegans alike. Easy, whole food plant-based and super delicious. Thanks for watching you guys. See you next time. Bye.